evening and welcome to Quint, King of the Quiz. I'm your host Kenny Bogue and this is the show where two contestants will battle it out through two rounds of questions sandwiched with a game of charades in between to be this week's King of the Quiz. Now welcoming today's contestants, on my right I am joined by Ewan from Galston. Ewan is a keen surfer and enjoys holidays in Tyree. And on my left we have Paul. Paul is a university lecturer and a massive fan of Tottenham Hotspur. Welcome to the show guys. Ewan, how are we? I'm, I'm alright. I'm yeah. pretty, pretty hungry, but... Pretty hungry, yeah. Are you feeling confident yeah. for today? Yeah, I'm pumped. I'm ready to go. It's going down, Paul. Right, Ewan, tell us something. <laughs> tell the viewers at home something that they, they don't know about you. Um, uh, I probably shouldn't be here. I d- I, I've Everybody knows that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm highly underqualified. So this is you. <laughs> uh, Paul, <laughs> welcome to the show. Uh, Paul, you tell the guys at home something they don't know about you. Yeah, I also am never going to get picked for Scotland again. Oh, well, that, I can yeah. imagine that accent tells us. You could probably get in the island there, team. We need some of them, to be Right, guys, we're going to start the quiz. Uh, the first round will be general knowledge, and then we'll play charades, and then we will play the sport round to finish off, okay? Now, we did a coin toss before we came on here. Paul won the coin toss. So, Paul, are you ready for your first five questions? Yes, I am. <laughs> Sorry. Fantastic. It was the phrase coin toss that was throwing me off. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what is the name of the tallest building in the world? Uh, I can't remember. I don't know. <laughs> can't take that as an answer, I'm afraid. Uh, it is, I don't know if I'm saying this correctly, but it's Burj Khalifa. Uh, which was the first single by Queen to reach number one in the UK charts? That's a very good question. I'm going to go for Killer Queen, but I might be wrong. I'm afraid the answer is Bohemian Rhapsody. There you go. Uh, what? Which is the fifth planet from the sun? Oh, okay. Um, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. I need to hurry up here, Paul. Yeah, Neptune. I'm afraid not. It's Jupiter. There you go. Shocking. Please do not send your children to this university. <laughs> what yeah, this? no, it's a long time since I've taught astronomy, to be fair. <laughs> uh, the fourth question, what does DVD stand for? That's also a very good question. Uh, digital video disc. I'm afraid it's digital versatile disc, Paul. Oh, uh, yeah. Finally, last chance to get a point in the question about DVDs for? What is the name of the character played by Tom Cruise in the Mission Impossible films? Um, it's Ethan Hunt, so a bad start from Paul, but uh, moving on, Ewan, are you ready? I always thought it was Tom Cruise, I just thought he was called Tom Cruise. He's called Ethan Hunt. In which century was William Shakespeare born? 18th. I'm afraid it's the 16th century. Uh, in which country is Blenheim, in which county, English county is Blenheim Palace? Blenheim Palace. Blenheim Palace, there we are, see? In which get an extra point for that. I'm afraid that, but... We need to take uh, up the producers after. <laughs> Just guess a county. York. York. I'm afraid it's Oxfordshire. Uh. When referring to a cash machine, what does ATM stand for? Oh, oh what? Good question. ATM, automated teller machine. Yay! Well, well done. done. Well done. Uh, I'll give you a little bonus fact. First person ever to use an ATM in the United Kingdom was Reg Varney, who used to star in On the Buses. Oh, there we go, guys. <laughs> Keep that for a pub quiz. That's why you should come to this university. <laughs> <laughs> Which was the first James Bond film to star Daniel Craig in the title role? Uh, Casino Royale. Yeah, well Good. done. Good. And in which year did Theresa May become Prime Minister? Uh, was it? Is it, was it last year, 2018? 1752, 17. it feels like. <laughs> 2016. So at the end of round one, uh, Ewan is on the leaderboard. Ewan has two. And Paul, very difficult questions, I must admit, is yet to score. But moving on, guys, this is your chance to make amends. We have the charades round. Now, the way this round works, obviously, one contestant will describe a person to another contestant. Should that contestant guess the correct, then the person describing will be awarded the point. Ewan, would you like to begin? No worries. This one's in the back, but that's not. The English guy is on a bunch of TV in America. He was in uh, Gavin and Stacey. The big oh, guy um, with blonde hair. Nobody knows why he's famous, but he is. No, he's actually, I think he's quite talented. <laughs> um, yeah, I think he's very but, talented. 
Um, but I can't remember his name at the moment. Uh, he's in Gavin and Stacey, and he is called. He does the carpool karaoke. I'll have to hurry up, Paul. No, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to move on, please, James, James Corden. James yeah, Bob. that's him. Yeah, well, that's well, him. Done. <laughs> well done. Well done. Yeah. Uh, informally known as the Rock. Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna remember his name either. I just know. I just know him as the Rock. Uh, I've always just you know whenever we meet, I say, <laughs> yeah, I say it's the Rock. How are it's you? It's the Rock. Yeah, that's. I've like like forgotten his previous name. I think it's really. Dwayne Johnson. Yeah. Is it Dwayne Johnson? Yeah. yeah. Right on the money. And then um, uh, he used to be a Disney star. As now he's a musician. She used to wear a she used to wear a wig, and then nobody knew who she was on that show. Also known as Hannah Montana. Oh, uh, yeah, I wouldn't know that. It's like a wrecking ball, isn't she? Yeah, she's like a wrecking ball. That's a good one. <laughs> right, you can move on. Miley Cyrus. That's her. Story. And that's her. That's her. So, at the end of that round, uh, you and scores zero. Um, I've, done, I've done quite well there, haven't well, I? Yeah, that's it. Depends oh, wait, I scored zero. Moving on, Paul, if you could begin, please. Oh, man, I just okay, so, uh, obscure fact is I think that her sister is Solange. Um, and she used to be in a band and she's got a name with an accent at the end. Uh, what band did she used to be in? Can't remember. Was she in All Saints? No. I'm lost. Um, I think we need to move on from okay. that one. Okay. I'm uh, lost as well. Um, but... Presents a chat show in America. Um, she took the most famous selfie at an award ceremony in America. Um, Ellen. That's it. Yay. Surname. Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah, okay. um, he plays uh, Ethan Hunt in the Mission Impossible films. Oh, I'm, ah, man, I've no idea. Uh, Come on now, you're Tom Cruise. <laughs> We're matching now. And at the end of round two, the scores on the doors are Paul two, you and two. So it all comes down to the final round, guys. Two it's two. Man, and it's sports. It's it's tough so rigged, man. How are we feeling, you? What do you think? You're gonna do it this rigged. week? So rigged. <laughs> Paul? You know what they say, it's the hope that kills you. Right, well, Paul, as you, you went second there, you will go first this time. Okay. Are you ready? I think I am. Right. Question one. In which year was 2020 cricket introduced in England and Wales? See, I should have paid attention last week. You should have, yes. Um, <laughs> uh, 2005. Oh, I'm afraid it's 2003, Paul. Right. In which year did England win the Rugby World Cup? Don't, not a big fan of rugby. Um, when was that? It was Nine a while ago. I was knocking doors in Carlisle at the time. Were you? Because I signed up this, the, ge the gentleman who scored the winning kicks, Auntie. Oh, did you? Auntie. Well, In my days before I was a TV presenter. Uh, <laughs> 96. I'm afraid it was 2003, Paul. Right. As of tw 2010, which is the only Olympic sport in which no professionals are allowed to compete? Boxing. Yay. And what was the first Asian country to hold the Formula One Grand Prix? Japan. Japan, correct. And last but not least, oh, what another one. are the colours of the five Olympic rings? Red. Yep. Blue. Yep. Green. Yep. Yellow. Yep. White. Oh, it was black, Paul, unfortunately. <laughs> so at the end of that round, Paul scores two. Very unlucky, though. Um, Get nothing. Nothing I'm for... I'm afraid so. Right, Ewan, this is your chance. You know what you need to do? You need three correct answers out of five. Are you ready? I oh, know. How many players are there in a rugby league team? Seven. I'm afraid. In a, in a rugby league team. Oh, right. Uh, you know, Eleven. Yeah. yeah. 11, I'm afraid it's 13, you're thinking of football. Right, who said the quote, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee? Muhammad Ali. Yes, well done. Right, the Oshi is, I can't say this word, the Oshi, a line that is 2.369 2 metres from the target is a term for what sport? The Oki. It's Oki, the, the Oki, Oki line. Oki line. Like uh, archery? I'm afraid it's darts. Darts, <laughs> Right, in which month does the new football league season always start? Um, think about the football. I know you're not a I big know, football I'm fan. But think. Like, uh, May. Ah, it's August. <laughs> right, this, to tie it up, right, 
Come on. Which Italian football side did Paul Gascoigne play for? Oh, man. That's, uh... Do you know any Italian football sides? N- nah, I don't think so. Um... I think, I think Paul might have won this one. <laughs> so, are you going to give us an answer? Uh, mm, no, I'm going to hate crawl into a crevice and hate Well, the answer one. is Lazio. Lazio. Would you have oh, heard of Lazio? Right in the back of my, right on the tip of my tongue, <laughs> that one. Right, guys, well, at the end of the round, at the end of the show, should I say, um, Paul is our victorious winner. Paul ends the show on four, and you and unlucky, I must admit, just behind on three. So, Paul, you are this week's king of the quiz. Congratulations. It's a great honour. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you both well for taking part, Ewan. guys. Yeah, no, thank you. And uh, please tune in next week where we'll find out who is next week's king of the quiz. Thank you for watching. <laughs>